Hello, everyone. Welcome once again to our series on basic mechanics and into our channel, Making Life Easier. Kindly subscribe, like, and share as well. Also, let us have your comments and suggestions at the comment session. Today we are looking at equilibrium of particles. Equilibrium of particles, example one. The crate is supported by three cables as shown. If the tension in cable BD is 1,500 newtons and the weight of the crate is 2,500 newtons, determine the tension in cable AB and BC. Let's look at how to solve this question. Good. Now, Anytime you are asked to solve problems in of bodies in equilibrium, the first thing you need to do is to draw the free body diagram. Is to draw the free body diagram. So here, let's try and draw a free body diagram for our system. So we have our y-axis like this, our x-axis like this, our y-axis like that. We have the weight acting on the y axis, so our weight will be here on the y axis. And we are told that the weight is 2,500 newtons. Good. So our resultant force, our weight is going to act downwards. So let's take it that. This is our y axis. If this is our y axis, then our weight is going to act downwards like this on the y. And we are told that it is 2,500. And we are told that there's a cable from this point to that point. This is B. So this point is B. So the tension in this cable will be G A G B D. And we are told that is equal to 1,500. And we are told that tensions always point away. And we are told that the horizontal for this force is 8, and the vertical is 6. Good. And then we have another force at this side. We have another force at this side. Let me choose another color so that we can see. We have another force for cable AB pointing away. Cables always point away from our point of interest. They always point away from our point of interest. Point away from our point of interest. And then we have another cable from B to C. From B to C in this manner. So we are told that the angle here is 60. Good. So when we get this type of question, the first thing we need to do is to resolve these forces which are not either in the X or in the Y components. So therefore we can resolve this one here. If we resolve this one here, this will be our F of X and this will be, this will be our F of Y. And this side will be our this side will be our f of x, our f of x. But now f of y, you can see that if you want to move from this point to this point here, we will move this direction on the we will move this direction on the y. Move this direction on the y. Y will be going up, which is positive. Don't forget that. Uh, positive, negative, positive, negative. So Y will be moving up, which will be positive, but S will be going this direction, which will be negative, which will be negative. So it means that our F of X will be equal to, and look at the X, X is down here with reference to this angle. S is adjacent to this angle. You can see that our X will be, this is from B to C. So our force here will be 
T B C. So the force will be T B C cos our angle 60. But we said that it's going to be negative. And our F of Y, the Y side is facing our angle. So we are going to get T B C sine 60. And then we can resolve the one here also into components. So now this is eight and this is six. You need to get the hypotenuse from this point to that point. And the hypotenuse, so the length from B to D is equal to square root of eight squared plus six squared. And from here, we get BD to be 10. So it means that this side is 10. So it means that if you want to get the horizontal component, look at it, you move the direction on the X, which will be positive, and you come down like this, which will be negative. So our f of y is going to be negative, but our f of x is going to be positive. But you can see that now from here, we can see that for this force, so for, for BD, the one here was for, for BC. So for BD, our f of x is going to be h over the side which you are looking for so x is the horizontal and we have to that it's eight so eight over ten times the force which is given which is one thousand five hundred and then our f of y which we said is going to be negative because we'll be coming down will be equal to the side there is six so we are going to get six over ten and thousand five hundred and from there, we can see that sum of all f of x is equal to zero. Sum of all f of y is equal to zero. These are our equilibrium equations we are going to analyze the problem with. So let's start with the f of x. Sum of f of x is equal to zero. So we can see that the x component for the force here is minus tbc cos 60. And then we have another force here. Don't forget that. Don't forget that we had a force here for we had a force here for the cable here. So that one is T A B. But look at the direction, it's going in the opposite side of our X. So it's going to be negative. So minus T A B plus. Plus, so now here let's just complete. So we can see that plus eight over 10 are S component for this force. Eight over 10 times 1,500. So is equal to zero. So from here we get negative 0 0.5 minus TAB plus 1,200 is equal to zero. Equation one. Then we can do the same for y. So x, we see that this direction is positive. We can sum all f of y when we are moving up to so positive. So f of y, let's sum all the y components. So the y component for fbc is tbc times 60. And then we have another y coming down for the weight it's coming down to so negative coming down negative to minus 2,500 minus the y component for this force here, which said that this is going to be negative, it's going to be negative. The y component for f of y here is going to be negative, so minus 6 over 10 and 1,500. And from there we get TBC, we are going to get TBC, sorry for that, let's simplify once and for all. So from there we are going to get our TBC, which is 0 0.87 
GBC minus 2500 minus 900 is equal to zero. And from there, we can say that our TBC will be equal to 900 plus 2500 all over 0 0.87, which will be equal to 3908 newtons. We have gotten our TBC, we just put TBC in our first equation here. Oh, sorry, this one was negative 0 0.5 TBC. TBC. We have gotten TBC from our equation here. We have gotten TBC from our equation here. We just substitute TBC here, we can get TAB. So from here, we can see that zero point five TBC minus TAB plus thousand two hundred is equal to zero. And TBC is three nine zero eight. So we can see that zero point five times three nine zero eight minus TAB plus thousand two hundred will be equal to zero. And from here TAB will be equal to negative seven five four seven five four newtons. And from here we are done with our question. So this question was pretty simple, which we can easily follow through. However, if you have any challenge or any problem with it, you can let us know at the comment section and we'll be happy to assist you to get the understanding of ease. Once again, we want to thank you very much for watching. We ask you to subscribe, like, share, comment, and also hit the notification bell so that anytime we upload a video, you can easily get access to. Bye bye.